Okay, in this problem, we're going to look at the buoyant force acting on a hot air balloon that is suspended in air. So my hot air balloon, to make our math simple, is going to be a perfect sphere. But obviously, I still have kind of the little strings hanging down, maybe a little basket or something. But I guess in the grand scheme of things, this round spherical part of the balloon is the most important part and it makes this part kind of negligible here. So I'm going to take my balloon and I'm going to turn it into a dot so I can do a free body diagram. And the important thing is that you realize that inside the balloon here, this is filled with helium. That's what's making it float. But our whole balloon is suspended in a fluid and the fluid is out here. So the fluid that we're talking about is air. So I'm going to write that down, air. All right, so there is a buoyant force acting on our balloon. And the buoyant force, it's, there is a buoyant force because we're in a fluid, is PVG. And the fluid that we are in has a density of 1.29 because it's air. And you have to know that the volume of a sphere is four-thirds pi r cubed and so the radius of the balloon is 9.5 meters cubed and then there's a times 9.8 here. Alright so there is a buoyant force but the buoyant force is holding up the, the FW, the weight of the balloon. So this is the tricky part is the weight of the balloon is made up of three different things. So one of the things is the mass of the structure of the whole balloon. When I say structure, I mean like the parachute silk fabric here, the strings, the cargo, or I mean the basket. And it says in the problem that this mass is a thousand. But it's also made up of the mass of the helium that is inside the balloon. So we don't seem to think that helium has a lot of mass, but this is a pretty big balloon. And because it's a big balloon, even a gas has mass. So that's where we have to go off to the side and we have to figure out what the mass of the helium is. Let's write HE here for helium. All right, so we're gonna use the density equation to find the mass of helium. So density, remember we use the, the symbol rho, density equals mass over volume. And the density of helium is 0.179. And we're trying to find the mass. And the volume is the whole spherical balloon. So again, it's 4 thirds pi r cubed, 9.5 cubed. So we multiply these two things together to get m, and we find out that the mass of the helium is pretty significant. It's 642.9 kilograms. That's a lot. That's a lot. So it would not be right to do the problem and not include the mass of the gas. So we're going to put down plus 642.9. And then I'm going to put down another plus because what the problem asks us to solve for is how much extra mass can we carry? So it's kind of like, you know, how much extra cargo could we put in here and still have my balloon float? All right, so FW equals M times G. So I'm going to put an extra M here. And that's what we're actually solving for, times G. So because I want my hot air balloon to float, I'm going to set these two things equal to each other. So FW equals FB. And I would have FW is going to be 1,000 plus 642.9 plus M. And then there's the G, so we'll call that 9.8. And then we have the buoyant force, which is 1.29 4 thirds pi 9.5 cubed. And then we have G 9.8 here. I'll squish it in. 
All right, so I have a 9.8 here, and I have a 9.8 here, so I could cancel those. And I am solving for this missing mass here, this extra mass. For that extra mass, I get 2,990 kilograms. That means I can add this many more kilograms to the balloon structure, like maybe put it in the basket, and my balloon would still float. But once I got above 2,990 kilograms, then my balloon would not float anymore. Okay, so take a look at that and uh, compare that to what you did and uh, we'll see if that works.